we have Islam Bagavudinov. Man, I hope I didn't butcher that, versus Carlos Matos. This one's going to be an exciting fight. And I believe Carlos Matos, or excuse me, Islam threw a strike at Carlos Matos. This was a brawl pretty much at weigh-ins. So I'm excited to see this fight and see how it progresses. This next fight sponsored by Transacciones Damos. These guys are going to get at it again. Had a fight at the weigh-ins with Islam throwing a strike. But Carlos Matos just seems pretty calm, pretty content, and relaxed and ready to put on the show. Let's get it. I like when there's a little beef. It makes it exciting. It's always a good time when there's beef. I'm thinking of a buffet now. <laughs> Now walking out to the cage, sponsored by Hypermop, Islam Baga Vudinov, the exterminator, five and one from Dagestan, here in the DR. I asked him what was his amateur record. He goes, I have no clue. I'm a sambo fighter. I've had tons of sambo fights. I've lost count. In my experience fighting over the seas, these guys are built different. Yeah, these guys in Dagestan, they're built different. You look at, you know, UFC champion Khabib Nurmagomedov, his, his prodigy, uh, Islam Makachev, and I've been able to train with both those guys. Those guys, even after practice, conditioning is number one, and they go, 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 go. But their sambo style is practically MMA at the highest level before really getting punched in the face. Some of the greats, like Fedor. <laughs> yeah, these guys... These guys are animals, man. I don't know if they all wrestle bears growing up, but you know, or, or Khabib was just a special one. But again, Islam having a problem with his opponent before stepping into this cage, throwing a strike because they were conversing for whatever they were saying. And overall, this might be a little more of an emotional fight than what people see and what people think. That was an awesome video brought to you by Transacciones Damos. We have Carlos Matos, El Matador, 7-1 from the Dominican Republic. We see them showcasing his skill. This man, again, with only one loss under his belt, is ready to, in a sense, prove himself. Now being on, being on UFC Fight Pass, 
proving himself to the world and trying to put on a performance. Taylor, the tape looks very similar, 20 to 23 years as far as the age. The height, six foot versus six foot two. Weight is a 165 to 169, very similar. Reach, 70 to a 77.5. That's gonna be- That is a tremendous reach advantage. And if he's able to use it properly, especially against Islam, more of a Sambo-based wrestler, it's gonna be able to work properly against them. I can tell you right now, the locals are excited about this fight. Everyone is really anticipating what's gonna happen here. Our next fight, three rounds for the welterweight division. Sponsored by Transacciones Llamos. Introducing first, on the blue corner, a weighting of 170 pounds, with a professional record of five victories, one loss. From Dagestan, Islam, the exterminator, Bugalurinov. In the red corner, weighing 170 pounds, with a professional record of seven victories and one loss. From the Dominican Republic, Carlos El Matador Matos. Our referee in charge, Tommy El Internacional Santana. El tercer hombre. These guys are ready to go. Yeah, they're both over the line. He doesn't want to back up at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, Islam saying this is gonna go fast. I'm gonna Got a striker versus a Samo guy. You know what? If you disrespect me, I'm going for the sub. But you see that stripe, that David Davidson Figueredo stripe on that head. Oh, nice overhand right immediately to body the Body lock, body lock. Look at the trap the leg, squeezing the leg. Something I tell my team all the time. Strong wizard though. Yes. Good very, defense. He's got a he's got a very lanky uh, body type. So. You know, that, that's tough sometimes to take someone down if you're not really direct with your takedown. It's like the guys that were trying to take down John Jones back in the day. He's just so much longer. It was so hard to take him down. Well, you know, you, you look at some of the guys, that like, you know, Cormier, they, they do things where they trip and so forth, but it, it is difficult. And he's using his length to his advantage, wrapping around every once in a while, making the clinch tighter, going with those inside knees. Yeah. Wonder, though, if, if, if Islam is going to have a problem if he doesn't get him to the ground. You know, he, you and I both know that you're a Sambo guy. This is your skill set. You want to take this to the ground. And beautiful job by Carlos being able to just, once he hits the floor, to come back up. And immediately, again, creating that frame to come back up. He's getting tripped, balanced back, using the fence to his, his advantage. Look at the length. He's able to go ahead and lock the body just from being in that position, which shows you how much longer he is. But staying in that clinch position... Will he drop down for the double? And he's slowly trying to do it, but with that wizard, Carlos is bringing him up very slowly. Do you really smoothly. want to go for a double when someone's that long? You know, going to that single, maybe looking for a dump to the outside, but not putting yourself in a guillotine position as well is important. So far, I think he's listened to you. He almost went for that <laughs> single there. But nice shot by Carlos implementing the double underhooks. Yeah, you got to make sure you cover when you go for strikes. Ooh, nice nice uppercut. uppercut. Single, see how the head's on the inside? On the outside, sorry. Now the trip, very good nice there. Job. Now we got. Now we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Now we're gonna see how this is gonna work. You gotta remember, both of these guys are very well matched. You got a seven-one record and a five-one record. These guys know what they're doing and they're really going for that W. Nobody wants a loss on that, on that type of record. Mm -hmm. And you see how long his legs are. You gotta be fearful of those up kicks. I caught a couple in my lifetime. Yeah. Actually, I caught one in my last fight. Very composed on both of the athletes. Oh, nice kick to the solar plex. I think that was the best thing for him to do, is just go inside there and work from there. And trying, to, trying to implement a different position, maybe throw some strikes and try to pass guard from there. But when you have somebody with his legs so long holding guard. Yeah, let's see if his grappling is, is, is decent. You know, those are triangle legs, those are armbar legs. 
You know, me personally, I would have stayed in the bottom. I would have went for the ground the pound. You got two minutes into the clock. I would try to win this round. And I tell you what, the referees are doing a great job. They're, they're looking for action. They're not going to let you lay the prey there. They're doing a good job. Oh, oh look pass. at Oma Plata. Going for Oma Plata attempt. He's Put got it. The elbow's it's already escaped out. It's, it's uh, it, it, it looks, you know, if he would have just got a little closer to the hip, maybe it would have been tighter. But that's a scary thing for Islam. He knows that if he approaches wrong, he might get stuck in a submission or a non-dominant position, like the guard, like this. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he's really worried about anything that's coming from the ground. Yeah, he just doesn't care right now. <laughs> yeah, he does. You know, right now, I mean. Oh, beautiful. Oh, sweep. look at the reversal nice job. trip. And he's going for the guillotine. Yeah. He has a lock in, but he's out of position. He's trying to pass the guard here. Well, we oh, he's giving up his the, back. Cut the corner, cut the corner. That is not so long. Oh, nice reverse elbow. Carlos saying nice, calm and composed, using the elbows, trying to mix it up on him. You see how long he is, and That's he a takes problem. a mount. Beautiful a job, and immediately with the elbows. Now we're going to see how you handle this situation. Are you going to fight out of it, or are you going to just... Oh, oh and he tries under the chin. Oh, this looks pretty it's bad. under the chin. He's cranking, he's on his back, but he needs to go to his side. Oh, he's oh, out. he's out. He's out. Wow. And he just pushes him off, no problem. Wow, I'm bowing to the crowd. Well, Carlos Matos did say he was going to teach him Spanish, yeah. and he taught him some español. Oh, man. Great job. Wow. Beautiful job. You want that money? He wants that money. Oh, man, I'm broke. I can't give him anybody. <laughs> That's well, with that submission, can you help me with some money, please? That'd be great. Great job by Carlos Matos. He stayed calm the entire fight. Even when he was on his back, his guard game was good. His submission attempts were solid. And when he finally got on top, he was able to scramble, solidify position, and get a beautiful rear naked choke. That was a very, very smooth and calm win. I'm going to be honest with you. I really thought Islam was going to get a, a, a submission. You know, you could totally tell that that he was, he, Carlos Montes was really prepared for this fight and he did a great job, great condition, conditioning was never a factor. He, look at the replay of the takedown, he, even though he was in a bad position, he reversed it and was able to, to get the rear naked choke. Kept his hooks. And you see how immediately he just goes under the neck and he solidifies that rear naked choke and how he just looks at the ref, he's out, he's out. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful performance, fight. calm, composed, and even though there was a little animosity at the weigh-in, even then when the strike was thrown at him, he did nothing back and didn't care. It's tough here because, you know,